Hello ladies and gentlemen, well I apologise for my lack of output recently on my channel. I've got quite a lot going on in the real world, been doing some decorating for the last couple of months and I'm getting near the end of it. So it would be nice just to finish that off. Anyway, I thought I'd do a basic video tonight, how to get a list of files from your computer or a network attached storage device, or a NAS for short. This is exceptionally useful should you lose all the files and not have any backups, at least you know what you had and you may be able to acquire it again. Unfortunately it doesn't regenerate family photographs, those will be gone forever unfortunately, but anything media related, music, movies, TV programs, you may be able to acquire them again. And this is exactly what happened to me and this list proved exceptionally useful. So you get an output of all the files in a text file and I suggest you store it on another device or maybe in the cloud or even print it out. So this will work for Linux or Unix computers and many pre-built NAS devices which have an underlying operating system of Linux. So it relies on you getting into the terminal and using the command ls. So just simply typing ls just gives me a basic list of what's here and that's not particularly useful for what I'm looking for. What I do want though is some more options on it. So dash s will give me the file size, h will make it human readable, capital R will make the list recursive, and number one will provide the list in one column. For example, that on the home folder, just so that gives me the output of some of the config files. Yes, that's not too relevant. But pointing it across to a media folder, well now I've got a list of all the TV programs here that are on my system. I can scroll up a little bit, but there's more than one screen full. So that's the basic command, now I want to output it to a file, and so you could do something basic like this, just use greater than and give it a set file name. So if I go and open it up, you can see at the top, that is the directory listing. Yeah, some of these don't actually have anything in and could go, yeah, I've not actually downloaded any of those, so that could be got rid of. Anyway, that's for me to organise on my own system. It looks like some of these haven't been put in the right place. Anyway, yeah, yeah, more organisation I need to do. But to make it something you want to run regularly, you can actually build a bash script. So using your favourite text editor, and I'm just going to go for nano here because I'm sat here in the terminal and I'm focused on this particular size screen. I'll make a new script called filelist.sh. For any bash script, your first line needs to be hash explanation mark slash bin slash bash. So I'll create a new file onto my home folder called filelist.txt and that is with the command touch. So I'll make it a little bit fancy, a couple of headings here, TV videos, a few asterisks underneath it, and then a blank line. So note the two double forward slashes, so these are essential to make sure I'm just appending to the file, not deleting it. In fact if you want to make sure you get a brand new copy of the file each time, what you could do is something like this line here which will output nothing into the file, filelist.txt, but will overwrite whatever's there. Now the ls command, so ls-shr1, the folder we want to look at, then output it to the file list.txt. And that's it. So control x, save, yes, enter, bash file list.txt. Oops, I wrote that folder the wrong way around. Let's quickly fix that. And now try it again, there's no error messages. I do have a listing of the files now and that fancy little heading at the top. Scroll down, go to the end. Yeah, I now have a file I could remove from my NAS, put somewhere else, and I have that listing of TV programs. So that's how to get a list of all the files from a computer or a NAS. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.